Now, can you guess what the number one objection is when starting to try to sell SIPs? It's price. Price is without a doubt. What is the price of a SIP cost? And that's going to be the number one objection. I am often hear the question, and that question is, well, how do SIPs compare to conventional framing? And when I hear that question, I say, well, uh, before I can give you an answer, I need you to provide me um, a performance criteria, a performance standard by which I can compare an apples to apples. And they usually respond with, no, 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 I just, I just want to know as standard a basic house. Well, the answer doesn't really work. It could be more, it could be less, it could be the same when comparing SIPs to conventional framing. Think of it this way. If we're trying to build a house with no energy code, with no concern for energy whatsoever, let's say we're building something that doesn't even need to be insulated, then I can assure you that we can build it out of sticks substantially cheaper than we can build it out of SIPs. That just stands to reason. Howsomever, if we apply a building code, an energy code or an energy standard to that same question, now all of a sudden the cost of stick framing goes up. Well, it went up by virtue of the fact that we had to put insulation in it. It's part of the stick framing assembly is to incorporate insulation. Well, let's raise that building standard even a little further. If SIP started out in the high end and the stick framing started out down here at the low end, as we increase that performance standard, the cost of stick framing also increases. It was way down here when we didn't even have insulation, but as we added insulation, it went up. As we added air sealing, as we tried to hit performance metrics that are defined by things like the model energy code, by Energy Star, by Energy Star Plus, all the way up to net zero energy houses. These things are all very achievable by either SIPs or sticks. but the thing is, is that the energy metric defines how much work we have to put into the system to make it perform on a level playing field. Once we get up into a high performing system, the cost of SIPs really might be, might be the same and it might actually be cheaper. If you try to build conventionally framed houses, off-grid, being heated and cooled and run entirely off of alternative energies, we want a house that's so very energy efficient that you may only be able to get that by spending the money that's required to build with a SIP package that's going to be very energy efficient and very tight. One thing that I often use when I talk about price is I use the automobile analogy. It's very interesting that somebody that pulls up in a very high-end automobile wants to complain about the cost of a SIP package because they can get a stick frame package cheaper. And I explain to them, well, I noticed your automobile that you drove in here is awfully nice. How come it is that you don't drive something that's a whole lot less expensive? To which they usually respond, well, I'm much more comfortable in that. It gets better gas mileage. It uh, is more comfortable to drive. It's safer. It's more durable. It's got better resale value. All of those things that play into the automobile sales analogy also play into the SIP analogy. It's really not what the panel costs. It's how it performs. It's the value added that you get out of spending the money that it, it costs to build with that SIP structure. The other thing is it can be a geographically influenced factor. The different costs of projects may be a function of geographically where you're building. The cost of labor in some areas of the country mandate that we want to have a build that's a much shorter cycle and therefore we can save a lot of dollars by getting through this build cycle much, much quicker and it's justifiable to pay for the SIP package knowing that we're going to save it on labor. In all cases, you as the builder are really going to save money and labor in the long run.